So again, my name is Jason Blankenship. I'm here with the Better Business Bureau Education Foundation. And right now, I am privileged to have Mr. Donald Buck. Uh, he is with us, and he too has applied for a Student of Integrity Scholarship with the Better Business Bureau. And uh, what we're doing is we're trying to interview uh, as a last round to see if this is, uh, you know, the student that we want to, to give a scholarship to. Mr. Buck, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, well, my name is Donald Buck. Um, I am a student of Washington County High School. I am a advocate of the fine arts. I've participated in band, drama, chorus at my school. Um, and in the fall, I'll actually attend Georgia Institute of Technology to major in music technology. Oh, wow, that's awesome. So are you gonna play there with the Ramblin' Wreck? I hope so. Hey, that's all. what is your favorite instrument? Well, the instrument I play tuba is my favorite instrument, but I, I also play tuba. I play bass guitar. I also play a little bit of guitar, even though I, I wish I was better in just guitar. But um, my favorite is the tuba. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. Now, I have actually received uh, part of your application process. Uh, Mr. Buck had to write an essay, he had to get three references. And he had to show that he was doing some community service and evidence of his leadership. And a lot of your leadership comes from the band area. So tell me, tell me about that. Well, in my band program, we have, besides this drum major, we have many different other leadership positions that um, go over with many other things, such as we have people over the coordination on the field and the coordination of music. Um, when my 11th grade year, I was over the music for my whole section. I was the brass captain. And overall, I was, I was over tubas, I was over trumpets, I was over trombones. I was just in general over that to make sure they're on their game with the music, make sure they remembered it and all kind of stuff like that. And that experience really taught me a lot for my 12th grade year where I switched from being over the music to the marching side of the brass section. Um, and also I was first lieutenant of my band, which is kind of in broad over, like right below drum major. Um, and that experience to taught me a lot in how to work with people, um, be a better leader. And also what I find the best to work is to be, be on the same level with the people you're trying to teach where you both grow off of each other. You don't just um, teach them, they kind of teach you a little bit too, you know? What about your, uh, I see you do a lot of stuff too. And this is crazy, man. Uh, you're like, if you were to be Googled, you, all <laughs> kind of great stuff comes up about you. You're like a legend here. Tell us about some of your community service stuff. Oh, uh, well, most of the community service that I do is, it's in the church. Um, I'm very active in my church. I have a youth group that I do with the young boys in my church, most of my family members, but I still it's a little group that we, that I, um, is over to that. We really just, it's just a safe space for them where, um, we can all talk and then I can also teach them, um, about God that some stuff they might not understand that happens in church. I tell them about it and they just come to me for guidance and all that. Um, the other side of that is working with, um, like helping out just in the community, um, where I help my neighbors and anything they do. Um, they might not be able to do like um, cut the grass. I cut the grass for them, trim their hedges. I, I do that for them if they need it. It's just things like that. And it's and Sandersville is not up in the mountains where it's cool, is it? No, it'd be hot. <laughs> so cut the grass summer. in Sandersville in the summertime, man. Mm -hmm. I have to offer to you. What is the evidence of your trustworthiness, and why is it important? As a vital member of my local Optimist Youth Chapter, I have served as the oratorical chair, where I not only compete in statewide competitions, but I serve as a coach for the younger students involved in the club. My most prized speaking arrangement was in an event that highlighted the violence among the minority boys in my community. After my speech, I had the privilege of meeting some young men that not only told me that I gave them hope, but that it was good to see someone who looked like them be in such a high position in the community at such a young age. This engagement encouraged me to continue to be an inspiration to the youth of my community, not only to follow your dreams, but to help others that follow you. When the world around you may seem to be filled with negative energy, just refocus on positive activities 
and that how you can be, and that is how you can be the change that you want to be. Through this reshaping of my thoughts, I started a young boys club in my church. Every other Saturday during the summer, young men will gather for fun and fellowship. I want to not only give these young men a safe place, but to allow them to see what they can be if they just believe in themselves. Through this program, the young men will come to me and speak about good things in their life, and sometimes to simply just vent about their personal battles. Not only were the meetings confidential, but they afforded the young man the knowledge to know that they had a friend in me. To these young men, trust is something that is earned through respect. The values that I hold true to myself allowed me to be that person that they could trust. An important aspect of some of the work that I do is knowing that my authenticity was transparent enough for others to see. Being an honest person is not just knowing right from wrong, but also living in that truth. When you look up under my family tree and stare deep into the ground, you can see that determination and willpower are carved deep within the branches. With each passing success, the words become deeper into each root and the tree becomes much stronger. My parents have built strong coverings and installed values into my siblings and I to brace our impact from any hardship, rejection, or hatred thrown at us. He also instilled within me throughout the years that honesty is a priority as well as a tool to fight with. No matter the battle, I have the ability to lead as well as follow, and I know where to put myself in other shoes to have a sense of reality before I judge. I prioritize each and every event in my life, and I know that through faith and my trust in God that all things are possible. I love it. And now we have had a, uh, because of the co coronavirus, um, you know, we were scheduled to have a big shindig uh, in late May hmm. for this. And you had to turn this in. I believe you had to turn it in back in March. Is that correct? Yes. So, and now it's June. And I say that only to point out, ladies and gentlemen, that this young man wrote this before, uh, you know, the protest, uh, before all the activities, before everything that was going on uh, early in June. And this young man, and I love it because he, he pointed out that, uh, the, that his peers, you, you earn their trust through respect. Yes. And uh, as eloquent as you are a speaker, I can definitely tell the extemporaneous public speaking competitions are helping you. And, you know, being a, uh, a well-versed in the fine arts, yes. I, I applaud your efforts because if ever there is now time for more people to understand exactly what your parents have taught you that, you know, you just keep going yes. and you look for, you look for the positives. So I applaud them for that. Um, Donald, I, you know, through the, throughout this interview, and I wanted you to know, you know, we've had a, a number of people apply for this scholarship. And while it's not an overwhelming amount, uh, we take it serious because we're not, have I asked you for your GPA at all? No. No, because I don't believe your GPA dictates how ethical a person you are. And you know this as well, that there's probably some really smart kids in your school and they're letting people cheat off of them or vice versa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, that's the norm. But uh, Donald, uh, going to Georgia Tech, sure. hopefully in the fall, the corona leaves and you can get on up there and, you know, maybe you'll be part of the rambling wreck. Well, well man, I want to let you know I've kind of tricked you a little bit in saying that this was an interview. Uh, you've got the scholarship. <laughs> um, first, I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, well. thank, thank the Better Business Bureau for awarding me this. Um, thank you for believing in me, and I hope to make y'all proud. Um, I'd like to thank my family, um, my mother, my father, all my sisters. Um, by the way, I'm, I'm the only boy. I, don't, I got like four sisters. Holy um, cow. I like to thank my grandmother, um, my family in all type, types of places, Millersville, Florida. Um, I got family in Detroit. I like to thank them for the constant support out the, throughout the years. I thank my community for supporting me, the community I live in, the community of Sandsville, the community of Washington County High School. I like to thank my businesses that have supported me, 
Birgis Pigment, thank you for them. Um, I like to thank God for giving me all these opportunities. Um, I like to thank the Washington County Fine Arts Department. And lastly, I want to shout out my late great grandmother. Um, I call her Big Ma. Um, as this would be, everything I do is for her. Um, and none of this would be possible without her.